What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are back to take a look at uh, the escape from Kyle floors 41 to 43. This time instead of being free to play we're gonna use uh, Penny Parker and see how much easier it's gonna be for you to beat uh, these floors. I'm gonna tell you right away, spoiler alert, it's gonna be extremely easy even with just a three stars characters some of the envoys were saying that you need five yellow stars and above it's definitely not the case if you have the right as a weight if you have the right position and if you're attacking the right characters so we're gonna take a look at uh, penny parker and the t4s that we need on the other characters and uh, then we're gonna take a look at the gameplay and see how much easier it's going to be once again if you want to do it 100 free to play without penny parker you have a solution right there, Escape from Calm, sales 30, 41 to 43. It's 100% free to play, 3 stars Pavitre and 4 stars Peter B. Parker. Very, very approachable and uh, you you just have to, to suck the nodes and so on. But watch the video if you want to see it, 100% free to play. Okay, so as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Mouse Life Force content and make sure to smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so let's take a look at the characters that we use. So we're going to take a look at uh, Spider Society. And uh, yes, it's convenient for you to have the characters at level 100. If your characters are at level 95, you're going to struggle a little bit in uh, doing enough damage to finish the node. So keep this in mind. Okay, so this is like uh, the bare minimum you can do. Four stars, three stars, three stars. Uh, two of the characters are free to play levels. Penny Parker, once again, you need to use power cores for her, but uh, it's not a big deal. Now, these characters, all of them have isolatable level 4. These characters are going to be used on the raids. Uh, you could use isolatable level 5 on them if you don't have the gold to level them up more or something, or if you're missing like some kind of yellow star on Pyvitre or something like that. But this is one to be the baseline for this team. Now, in terms of T4s, you need some of them, not all of them. But uh, Pavitra needs some T4s. We'll talk about the T4s in the, in the future. But uh, for uh, Penny Parker, which is the character that really matters for this video, you only need the T4 on the passive, that gives a more speed bar. And you need the T4 on the special, that applies the stun. So those are the only T4s that you need, special and passive. The ultimate is just for raids, so you don't need for this event. Okay, so this is the team that we're going to use. Once again, if you have power cores available, I would definitely consider unlocking Penny Parker early, because this is going to allow you to get additional diamonds, gold, and crimson gear for Mephisto with this event. Okay, so with that said, let's take a look at the nodes and see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take a look at floor 41. And this is going to be with the new Spider Society characters. So Penny Parker, the only way you can unlock her for free is if you have power cores. And it has to be a big amount of power cores because she requires the, the one on shards and these other guys we had from the previous events it's going to be very important that you have her as a striker and the other ones as skirmishers as they need to land negative effects and she needs to generate a lot of energy if you have this setup you will see that all the nodes will be somewhat easy okay so let's get started let's see how it goes on this floor 41 this was recorded live so usually it takes a little bit longer than than usual to get going but we're gonna try to speed up a little bit okay here we go let's take a look at this in my opinion this was way easier than the other version the free-to-play version of course but uh, yeah as long as you have the power cores okay so as you can see we still want to focus on that iron patriot you want to make sure that uh, you delete him early on because he's going to clear your positive effects away. Now, we have so many positive effects that uh, the enemies, they, even if they attack us, they are not going to be that impactful. Okay, so here I stun the, the Namor. In the other run, I think I stunned the leader. I'm not sure. 
one of them, but you also use the black cat here, so completely different runner. And uh, now they are clearing those negative effects away, which is fine. What you'll see that is that the team is so strong that it doesn't even matter what the enemies do, right? So we stun at one time Namor, they clear the stun away, but now you're gonna stun again. It's crazy, like this team is absolutely crazy. Okay, so now we have to clear those positive effects away from the enemy team. And for that, we are going to. You can use the special. Here I use the ultimate for the disrupt. The disrupt here can help if you need to heal up your team. So it depends which kind of negative effects you are, uh, your enemies cleared or not. The Iron Patriot getting stealth and getting the stealth removed from him. That's because we have the two skirmishers eyes away. And here we are going to stun. Or basic. I'm not sure if that was the special or the, the basic. I'm still not very familiar with animations. But uh, we generated a bunch of energy, right? We're about to delete that um, Iron Patriot. And now we have the opportunity to apply offense down to him. So even if he does the ultimate, we can survive. Okay, so there we go. We have those death proofs. So we are going to be able to survive. And once again, we're going to stun Namor. As you guys can see, like this is not good gameplay. I'm playing it very poorly. This was my first try. But the thing is that it worked. The team is just so strong that it works anyway. Now, on the other nodes, it's not as easy. On the other cells, it's not as easy. Uh, but uh, it's still fine. This one is just... Uh, <laughs> it's laughable how bad I'm playing. Okay, here I apply the stun to Abomination. We still don't want Abomination passive to flip uh, all the positive effects into negative effects. Here we can do the ultimate again of uh, Peter B. Parker. And this shows how much energy this team has. It's really, really insane. Here we're going to use the basic. It allows us to apply slow and get some speed bar. So all good. We have another stun. In the stun I tried to use on Absorbing Man, but he resisted. You have to make sure that you apply this up to Absorbing Man. And here I finally realized that I need to stop this leader, right? Because this leader is healing so much that uh, he's, just wasting my, uh, he's just wasting my time. So it's just better off to stun him and finish him, finish him off. Okay, so that's what we do. Stun with his to heal block, so he cannot go under stealth. And uh, now we are just going to finish them off because they can no longer heal. And uh, that's pretty much it for this Floor 41. Much, much easier than the other version. The other version was, again, free to play. It was still fine, like, don't get me wrong, it was still fine, but of course this with, with the new characters is much, much easier. Okay, so there we do the special, another stun on the Bobby Nation. Once again, I cannot say it enough, the amount of energy this team has is absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And that's why we can spam the stun so many times. Depending on the size of your characters, and also depending on, on the eyes away, the Penny Parker, the Japanese girl with the robot, she's going to assist more. And that means you'll get even more energy because you get energy on basic, on assist, on counter, and also with the eyes away. So we have four ways of getting energy. Okay, so as soon as the leader dies, Kang drops. As soon as Kang drops, we stun him right away. And you want to make sure that you leave Moon, Moon uh, stun for last. Just in case you need to refresh that energy. But as you guys can see, we are full energy on all characters. I think only Peter B. Parker didn't have full energy. But either way, at this point, he has for sure. Now we are going to take a look at cell 42. Big shout out to AVLA. I was trying to do this and it was somewhat working, but uh, I was making one mistake and he was able to clarify. And uh, then after that, we cleared it right away. We're gonna use the same team, same position, same eyes await. And here we go. Okay, so this is very, very simple. This is pretty much like we did before. Once again, check out the video if uh, you don't have Penny Parker and you want to do it free to play. So we are going to use uh, the special with Pavitra like before to clear the taunt away. And uh, then uh, we want to try to stun uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider because he's going to stun you and apply trauma to you. If you cannot remove it with Eyes away, you can remove it with a special of Peter B. Parker. And then uh, with uh, Penny Parker, we are just going to stun him. We have two stuns, we have a stun with the ultimate, we have a stun with a special, 
and uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I use the special, and I think I use the special because it gives defense up and immunity. Yes, that's the case. So it gives defense up and immunity, and that will protect you from the the Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider, right? Okay, now we're gonna use uh, what the ultimate? No, use the basic or the ultimate. One of them. Once again, I'm not very familiar with animations yet. I think I used the ultimate there with Pavitre. It's unnecessary. You don't have to really do it. And now we are going to clear that offense up from uh, the Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider, right? Okay, so with that uh, offense up removed and with the offense down, it's going to do way less damage. And uh, like that, we are sort of protected, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to apply offense down to him again. Now we have another stun. We have to once again apply the stun to the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Or uh, you want to make sure that you apply it to, to Black Knight. Here at this point in time, I think I could apply to Black Knight and then uh, use the special to use it on Cosmic Ghost Rider because they, both of them had slow and uh, we should have speed up. I'm not sure, but we should have speed up. So it should have been enough. Either way, stun the Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's the most important thing. Every time you can, stun him. Then we're going to keep shipping away the other Ghost Rider, the Robbie Rays. And at this point, we are very, very close of getting Red Hulk to do his ultimate. So what you're going to do is to finish off that Red Hulk and finish off the Robbie Rays Ghost Rider as well. Remember that with a special of Peter B. Parker, someone will always assist and you can use that to finish off the, the Red Hulk. Okay, now we use the basic, I think, maybe, or the ultimate. So once again, we use the ultimate. And here, I think we have to stun, once again, the Red Hulk. No, we stun the Black Knight. We try to stun the Black Knight. It lands. Uh, it wouldn't matter too much because he already used both of his abilities. So it wouldn't matter too much. You could just focus on the, the, Red, the Red Hulk and finish him off. And now we have Black Cat and we have uh, Captain America. With Pavitra special, we're going to try to clear that immunity from Black Cat. It didn't land. We're going to stun the Silver Surfer because you don't, we don't want him to clear any positive effects from our team. And then with the special of Peter B. Parker, we clear all the immunities. And now we are ready to apply offense down and stun that uh, black cat okay so there we go we apply the basic she stuns one of our characters that's fine now we're gonna stun her and uh, once again like this team has so much energy that you don't have to worry so much and even with three enemies you're gonna be able to recharge all your cooldowns right okay so there we go apply stun to black cat apply stun to photon do you have to apply stun to photon no you don't you can finish her off right away but we did it for for safety let's say that and now we just have to attack with a basic on the enemies to recover all the energy with penny parker and this is why once again it's so important to have skirmishers so you are landing the neg negative effects and you have those guaranteed vulnerables that allow you to recover all the energy with the uh, penny parker's basic and also with their isolate attack Finally, let's take a look at Cell 43. Once again, we're going to use the same team, same ISO 8, same T4, same everything. And uh, we're going to get started. Once again, this was not like perfect gameplay by any means. But the team is so resilient that uh, even if you don't play it properly, you can still win. Of course, there are some characters that uh, you have to worry about. Uh, and uh, but if you do that like it gets pretty easy as long as you cut their damage the, the other mechanics that the, the enemies have it's not important okay so in the free to play version you have to be very careful with uh, the spider slayer and also with green goblin but uh, with penny parker you only have to worry about uh, the green goblin so i was talking with the shad to see which one we are going to attack first uh, because at the beginning we have this team fast down that we can apply to the enemies uh, so i decided to attack the the green goblin and uh, at this point we can use the special or the ultimate of uh, peter b parker both of them are going to be very beneficial for us let's see i use the ultimate so that's going to give us a bunch of counter attacks 
And those counterattacks can give us energy. That's why it's so important to have them. Okay, so big ultimate with uh, Penny Parker on uh, the Green Goblin. Everyone else has Disrupt, uh, it has Bleeds and so on. You can see that now we can survive from the ultimate of uh, Spider Slayer. And because of that, well, everything is much, much easier. We're going to remove that offense up from Craven. We are lucky, but we don't want to test it. This team is still uh, very close to free to play levels at uh, three stars and so on. So we don't want to risk it too hard. And uh, we have some problems with vulnerabilities, but that's because of the passive of uh, Green Goblin, right? While he has charges, you cannot apply vulnerabilities to Sinister Six characters. You can still apply to, to Red Goblin, uh, but, uh, but that's fine. Okay, so we have another stun. Are we going to use the stun on Dr. Octopus? Are we going to use it on Craven? Both of those characters are important. Now, with Dr. Octopus, if you stun him, that's going to be beneficial for you because he's not going to be able to summon another Shocker. And uh, he's also not going to be able to apply slow to your characters. And the damage that the other enemies do, it's not like significant enough for you to care about. So I decided to put a break on the Green Goblin and go after Dr. Octopus. We had the opportunity to apply defense down to him. And now I could have finished him off with the special of uh, Peter B. Parker because it assists with, uh, with the character with the most damage. So we could have one shot at him right there. But of course, uh, I was uh, over complicating. This is already at uh, one in the morning. And, uh, and yeah, not the best gameplay as we are used to. Okay, so there I used what? I used the ultimate. So yeah, I thought the ultimate was going to do a little bit more damage and we'll be able to finish him off. Not the case. In terms of the Craven ultimate, you don't really have to worry about the Craven ultimate because as long as, as you have a death proof and immunity, he cannot uh, kill you, right? So that's fine. Now, Green Goblin, he was able to clear the, the negative effects away. But of course, because this team has so much energy, we're able to apply the stun again to Green Goblin. Focus again on Dr. Octopus. So if you were playing properly, Dr. Octopus would be dead already and the Green Goblin would also be dead already. So not a huge deal. But if you keep stunning the, the Green Goblin and you wait him to lose all the charges and after you delete the, the Dr. Octopus, then he cannot get more charges. That's why it's so important to get rid of the Dr. Octopus. It's just to make sure that uh, he's not giving charges to the other characters as well. Remember that Craven is also affected by charges. It's not only the, the Green Goblin. Okay, he uses his ultimate. Once again, he should be dead already. I, I was just playing very, very poorly. But uh, it's very impressive because we have so many positive effects. Some of them deflect, some of them evade and so on. We were able to resist uh, the, the trauma and so on from uh, Green Goblin. Okay, we are going to stun him. Now we have so many bleeds that there is no chance that we'll fail to kill that Dr. Octopus. So there we go. And uh, now we can go after Rhino or a Slayer or a Raven or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, finally, we are focusing on a Green Goblin. He has defense down. We're going to shred him. You can see that Craven. Uh, he went so many times that he is already doing the, the special for the second time. The Spider Slayer Ultimate, it takes a very long time to charge up, so it's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, after he does the first time, then it takes like seven turns or so for him to, to get, it, get it again. Okay, Green Goblin is gone. Red Goblin is gone. Now we're going to go after Rhino. And uh, we have to care a little bit about the Lizard, of course. Blizzard is still annoying, but we're going to apply vulnerability to him and some slows. So after we have an easier time clearing the, the positive effects from him. Okay, I used the special there to remove all those death proofs that he was going to apply to the enemies. Some of the enemies have disrupt um, or not. It's, they still get a bunch of positive effects. But with Penny Parker Ultimate, you can clear most of those positive effects away. And of course, that's going to help us quite a lot. Then we can do the same thing again with a special of uh, Peter B. Parker, which I don't have available here, but you could have done it as well. And uh, here, the only character that is really, really dangerous is the Vulture, but uh, it's game over. Like, I mean, 
After you delete Dr. Octopus, after you delete the Green Goblin, it's pretty much a free win. So we still want to stun the Lizard before he does his special, because he can flip uh, your positive effects into negative effects and apply ability block to your support characters. So it's still something that you want to avoid. And uh, with everyone stunned, with everyone slowed, we can uh, easily ship them away. And this is the last node, right? So we don't even we don't even have to worry about getting additional energy going forward. Okay, guys. So there we go. Penny Parker absolutely makes this way way more easier. Once again, it's possible to do it free to play, but uh, it's more complicated. It's up to you to decide if it's going to be worth to spend the power cores or not on Penny Parker. So you can complete uh, these nodes and then uh, you have to see if uh, you're going to be able to do the cabal nodes as well or not so there we go guys as you guys can see very very easy with the penny parker and uh, once again if you have the power cores available i would definitely consider unlocking her and uh, co completing this escape from kyle unfortunately her event is not uh, going to be live during the escape from Kyle, so you, the only way is really to unlock her with the power cores or with the money. She's going to be a great character not only for raids, but we have already seen a lot of value for her in uh, Alliance Wars in just the the couple of hours that she has been available. So it's up to you to decide. I'm giving you the information, you make the decision but uh, i hope this video is going to help you out once again don't forget to check out the other video that allows you to complete these floors 100 free to play and uh, as always if you like the information on these videos make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more mouse force content and i'll catch you guys later